Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Code with Hafiz. My name is Hafizullah Masudi and I am here to show you how to add a beautiful page loader in your Laravel and Vue.js application. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe if you want more videos like this. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to give the thumbs up and also a nice comment. Now the version of Laravel and Vue.js that I am going to use in this tutorial is Laravel 9 and Vue.js 3 and if you want to use the same project as I am using for this tutorial I have provided uh, the github link to the repository in the description of this video and you can find it there now first of all for a loader in your application you must design a loader using HTML and CSS uh, or you if you want to use some pre-designed loaders you can find it in the internet by searching for page loaders well I will not design it from scratch because we will use an already designed uh, loading and I will show some resources that are completely open source for you to use it in your application so the first resource that I want to show you is let's open a new tab in the browser and in here let's go to the epic hyphen spinners dot epic max and dot co now you can see you can find all these beautiful Vue.js integrated loaders in here which you can use in your application if you click on one of them you can get the HTML and CSS code and you can also get the Vue.js code for it so these are the one options that you have now for other resource let's open another tab and in here let's go to TOBIA and SAHLIN.com and then slash spin kit and in here you can see you have uh, many loaders in here and you can scroll for them and you can see each one of them is different and to get the source code you can click on the source and you will get the HTML and CSS code now let's suppose we want to use a loader from this uh, source so I will close the other one and let's first of all choose a loader so let's browse through it and choose one that fits our need well I will use let's suppose this one so let's click on the source and let's copy first of all this HTML code well, let's copy it and I already have opened this project in the text editor so I will go to the Visual Studio code and in here what I will do is click on resources JS components and I will create another component so let's name it loader component and dot view and in here the first thing that I will do is put our template and inside this template before pasting the loader I will create two divs with a class so first one will be overly and the second would be loader wrapper so loader hyphen wrapper and then I will paste the loader let's indent it a little bit now the next thing is I will export this component so let's put our script tags and export default now re let's register this component in our app.js so let's go to app.js and in here what I will do is first of all import it so at the top let's duplicate this one and instead of task component let's say loader component let's copy it and after importing the component we have to register it in our app so at the bottom after we create the app in here we can say app.component and then a name for the component which we will use as a tag in our blades so let's say loader hyphen component and then the component that we imported so in here I will paste the loader component now to compile these changes we have to run yarn run watch so I will open the terminal here and let's clear it first 
and let's say yarn run watch to compile all the changes and register the component now the uh, code has been compiled successfully so I will close the terminal and for this to work we have we also have to import all the styles so let's get back to the browser and let's go to the spin kit and let's also copy all the design code and in here let's create a style tag which will be scoped to this component only and let's paste our code here and save the file S compile successfully now for this to work let's go to the browser and check our code if it works so let's go to the project tab and let's hard reload or guys we didn't have imported the component so let's get back to the text editor and let's open the view so let's go to views and open home plane and we will import it inside this div with the id of app and we will import it at the top so let's say loader hyphen component and let's save it and let's get back to the browser refresh and we are not getting the component yeah we are getting it you can see this is the nice loader well this is not well designed and for that reason if you remember earlier we created two divs one for the overlay and one for the uh, loader wrapper so what I will do next is design give some uh, CSS code or write some CSS code for those two classes so let's get back to the text editor and let's go to the loader component and let's press enter here and the first class that we have is dot overlay and first of all let's declare a background color so background color rgba and let's say 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 0 0.8 to give it some opacity next let's say position and let's say position is fixed and after position let's say top we should be zero and let's say bottom also we should be zero left also we should be zero and right also zero and this is because we win, we want uh, the overlay to be centered and let's say z index because we want it to be uh, at the top of everything so let's suppose we want this overlay the z index of 4000 now next let's create another class which was dot uh, loader wrapper loader hyphen wrapper and for the loader wrapper first of all let's say z index which should be 4100 because we want the loader at the top of the overlay and next of z index let's say position should be absolute and let's say top 50 percent and let's say left also 50 percent to make it to the center and then let's say transform translate and minus 50 percent and comma minus other 50 percent now let's save it and get back to the browser hard reload and hopefully it will be centered well it is centered but it's not showing our loader well actually it is showing the loader but we have to change the color of the loader so let's get back to the text editor and if we scroll down here yeah this one is the color so let's make it white and if we save it now let's get back to the browser hard reload now you can see we have our loader well for this to work we don't want it by default like this always showing but we want to show the loader whenever we do something in our application so we can write some logic for that so let's get back to the text editor and in here let's scroll to the top i will close the sidebar and the first thing that i will do is declare an if statement for the overlay so let's say v dash f 
and then we want to check for the uh, status of the loader if it is true so let's say loader underscore status and that's all now let's create this loader status in here I will say data parenthesis curly braces and then loader underscore status and by default we want it to be false now the next part is to create a mounted field so let's create mounted well guys this should be returned in curly braces so let's cut it and let's say return curly braces and then our object now let's create the mounted field and if we go back to the browser let's hard reload well I close the application let's hard reload you can see it's now false and if it if we make it true let's say this one is true and if we save it if we get back to the browser refresh now we get our loader now we want to change this loader status from other components so for that we will use emitting event and that is a javascript function well in Vue.js you don't have access or you cannot use uh, the dollar sign emit or dollar sign on on because these are deprecated from Vue.js version 3 but instead to ease our work we will use a package and let's go to the browser and open a new tab and in here I will search for tiny hyphen emitter and let's go to this first link which, which is which is npmjs and to install it we can use this command which says npm install tiny emitter dash dash save well we will be installing it using yarn so let's get back to the text editor and I will open the terminal again let's open a new terminal here and let's say yarn add tiny hyphen emitter and press enter now we have to register it in our app.js file so let's go to app.js and let me close the terminal here and in here what I will do is let's uh, register it after this global URL so in here let's create a variable by the name of emitter which should be equal to require emitter tiny emitter and then we can say window dot emitter should equal to new emitter parenthesis now this being done guys we can use this emitter so let's go to the loader component and in the mounted function we can now use window dot emitter and then dot on and the name of the event would be loader status well let's say change loader status change loader status and it will take a function so let's declare a function here which will take a status and curly braces and then we want to change this loader status to the status that is coming so let's say this dot loader status underscore status should equal to status now to check our code and something uh, we want to emit an event and change the status let's get back to the browser and let's go to the project tab let's refresh first and let's go to this task component and whenever we come to this component I want to for example load this component and I think we can we have an error so let's open the inspect element and let me make it like this let's go to the console and let me zoom it a little bit and it doesn't recognize uh, the on function on the emitter so let's get back to the text editor and in here it is emitter on and if you go to the app oh yeah we had misspelled the emitter so let's save it let's get back to the browser refresh and now we are getting our tasks so let's suppose for the load, load of these tasks we want to uh, load our uh, loader and whenever the tasks are loaded we want to make it false so let's get back to the text editor and open that component which will be task component 
and in here let's go to this git tasks and we want to make the loader true at the top of the task git tasks function uh, because in here it is starts so in here we can say window dot emitter dot emit and the name for that event was change loader status and we want to change it change it to true now to s make it false we want to make it false after we get the data so in here I will paste it and say false and I also want to make it false after the errors so let's make it false here also now I will save it and if we get back to the browser refresh and you can see it comes and goes very fast because we don't have any time declared for the loader and if we switch through the components you can see we have our nice loader and if you want to give this loader time well let's also show you how to give it time what I will do is first of all in here I will create a const variable which will be named t for example and I will store the this keyword in this t const and now we can use it inside this function so let's make this this to t and next let's cut the uh, function so I will cut it and let's say set timeout which is a d JavaScript function and it will take a function so function parenthesis curly braces and then I will paste the code that I cut from the previous function and to give it a time in here let's put a comma and let's say it should be one second let's save it and now let's get back to the browser let's reload and see if it sticks for one minute and one second you can see it sticks for one second now this was guys how to uh, import a loader in your application and how to use it and you also learned how to use or give time to your functions now this being done guys our video has come to an end and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if so don't forget to give the thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this so thanks for watching guys see ya in the next video